how I use the chat GPT to enhance my knowledge. So today basically I required the information regarding the capita and the cyclism aspect. Uh, basically I required this information because this information or this capita and the cyclism is widely, uh, widely used in our company. So I required uh, uh, that information to revise because uh, in the next week uh, I need to write the test cases and I need to use this knowledge. So for the revising purpose I just uh, used chat GPT. So I started with like this. Uh, I asked uh, the chat GPT that can I use selenium in uh, capybara aspect with the example. Uh, so I love examples. I told uh, that uh, please tell with the example. So this is the response, uh, very beautiful in, uh, response which is received from uh, chat GPT. GPT. It told uh, that how you can use the selenium in the capybara. Here it uh, gave the all the elaborated information and also uh, you can uh, then it says that you can use the capybara method as usual to interact with the browser and test your application then i asked uh, how can i use selenium functions in the capybara so i was uh, wanting that uh, i know the selenium function so how can i use those directly in the capybara so the response uh, it gives is that uh, for example if uh, you want to use the selenium find element uh, it uh, picked up some examples and it uh, according to those examples it explained me how i can use those uh, like we have an element find element in the selenium so so it gives the like uh, you can use page dot driver dot find element so i can use directly driver dot find elements and i use id by id or by text or by uh, my element suppose uh, I want some more details regarding this so I'll ask uh, chat GPT let me bring my next window here uh, so here is my next window so I'll ask I want more detail regarding how can I use this method for searching the text so I'll ask uh, how can I use a find element method? And using text. Let's see what uh, chat GPT gives the answer. So it has started uh, to generate the uh, response. So it is saying that in order to use the find element method to locate uh, element in by using the text, use selenium. You can use xpath. Oh, it has used xpath. I think it will be using text. Yes, it has used text. And uh, it has used uh, text and you can also use CSS. It is suggesting me regarding the CSS as well. Oh, super. P that contains a text of element. Super. We can use that part. So this way, if you require more information, you can use uh, in this way. Uh, later, I also ask uh, chat GPT, what are the capybara methods built in like Selenium has? So it gives, uh, it gave me all the list of methods. And at last, it is uh, suggesting uh, giving a pinpoint note. It's worth noting that Capybara supports multiple drivers besides Selenium. Uh, that means you are, uh, it is expanding your knowledge. It is not restricting you for the Selenium. It is uh, suggesting you that you can uh, use a rack test, Voltrigius and a mold. So later I asked uh, what are the side prism methods built in. So I was... Uh, uh, curious, curious to know the what are the site prism methods. Other ways to get this information, what I would have do, done is, I would have visited this document for searching the information. And uh, reading this uh, complete doc and getting those information, it would be quite difficult. Um, 
really the chat gpt is a revolutionary tool which is coming it has not uh, covered a complete market but it is coming in uh, this is the capable doc i would have referred and uh, i would have referred a uh, site prism doc ruby i would have searched uh, in the if i want to get the, see here a super uh, i think this chat gpt how it came i don't know this is integrated in the google i think site prism is a web testing tool uh, that allows you to interact super don't know from where it uh, got popped up let's see so i would have uh, gone to this page and uh, search for the information but it has provided all the methods examples uh, uh, which methods of capybara that i can use directly in the site prism i asked this query so for that query it gave uh, with beautiful examples right away how you can use it here is the code uh, this code is not uh, that you can use it but uh, just for the information purpose uh, it provides a huge and immense clarity by the uh, reading those examples the thing is not that you are going to copy it directly but the insights and the clarity you get through these examples is quite hu immense huge because i don't think this uh, examples you will get on this page so this is the site prism page so i don't think we will be getting much examples and all here here you will able to see the directly methods that too if you don't know this uh, website or you if you don't know how to search it you will be missing this information uh, then later i asked uh, capybara methods to locate elements in the site prism i was uh, wondering that uh, i should be able to use capybara in the site prism so i asked how i can do that it is suggesting me some methods that uh, you can directly use this xpath css here and you can provide this tags here and i was not much clear so i asked uh, it for some more clarity in the next so it has uh, provided all the methods but uh, examples were missing so i told how can i use this inside prism so it started giving all the examples related to how i can use those in the site prism let i think uh, tell all the methods how to use inside prism with examples please i told just i was requesting it so it accepted my request and it started giving the information with example see how beautifully it has given the information uh, i asked uh, what is regarding the text method so it also provide the text method as well see this is uh, very 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 useful if you use in a positive way if you used in enhancing the knowledge it gives a very comprehensive answers to the questions that you ask uh, the thing is not that you are going to tell it to code or you are going to ask for it the answers how accurate question you are going to ask uh, that would depend or that would tell chat gpt how accurate answer it will provide you if you don't have any uh, idea about asking the questions then it uh, you don't expect any answer to that the skill of curiosity and the uh, chat gpt will bring uh, people or uh, is beneficial or to pull the people those who are curious very 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 highly curious people curious and learning attitude those people will very uh, rapidly grow in the knowledge very easily because they have ideas and you have a person or machine that you can uh, get from where you can expect a very accurate and 
uh, understandable answers just by going and asking uh, it revised my capybara and side prism super uh, i later asked uh, provide information about the in, uh, information in nice format i want to paste it in the word document sure uh, here is the information in more organized format for easy copy pasting copying and pasting into a word document see it has formatted and given it to me again so guys you can uh, use it uh, for the learning purpose you can uh, start any technology anything that you want to learn just by asking the uh, examples uh, for example if i want to learn docker so i'll ask uh, what is docker so it will give docker is a platform for developers and system admins to develop uh, i'll tell it i don't want oh, so what is significance of docker i will ask it why what is significance of docker so we can go as per our requirement docker has several key benefits that makes it popular choice among developers and system admin isolation containers provide level of isolation for application and dependencies so they can run consistently across different environment uh, portability uh, docker containers can be easily moved between the different environments let's see uh, next question i will ask is uh, can you explain the op concepts with beautiful examples let's see what uh, it can give i'll ask it to stop the generating uh, i'll ask uh, tell me op concepts with real life examples see it has started giving me the uh, answer encapsulations let's see what a real life example it will give private and protected to control the access of the object for example a bank account class see it has taken the bank account class example variable and account balance and account number in inheritance let's see what is the real life example for example car it has taken might inherit from several class of vehicles polymorphism let's ask the uh, next question give me more examples about those or uh, let's ask uh, give me more examples of polymorphism real life examples I'll ask it to stop the generation. Uh, give me more examples of code for polymorphism. Let's see what it uh, gives me back. Sure, here are some examples how polymorphism can be used in the code overriding method then see it has started giving me the code super i don't know what now I, I think i have not provided the language so it is using ruby we can uh, specify wait i just specify java as the language java is the language uh, in java so there are many concepts uh, regarding uh, uh, which we can ask and we can uh, prepare for the interviews of the cdac as well so guys uh, this is the uh, tool which is freely available for now so you can just uh, uh, use it for uh, upcoming uh, interviews uh, preparation of the interviews asking various questions practicing uh, 
it can take your interviews uh, interviews as well it can provide you information lots of information you can get through this you can uh, ask uh, for me to uh, make you understand what is react what is uh, uh, you know, spring boot what are the things what are the uh, uh, annotations that are used in the uh, spring it will give so many examples i can uh, what are the annotations in spring spring boot give examples also in spring boot see it has started giving you the at the rate spring boot application let's see what example uh, it will give see it has uh, given the examples as well so guys uh, finally concluding this video uh, because there are a lot many things and quite enjoyable things that you can do with this chat gpt yes you can uh, go and uh, explore it's very simple it's open source source for the time being uh, it might be paid version it might come in the paid version L let me check this uh, because uh, earlier we got the chat gpt so let me search for the google i don't think uh, it is integrated with the google as well so let's search for the capybara ruby docs mm, no no otherwise we'll let's see for the uh, site prism otherwise uh, let's search for the some things which are related to cdag most popular uh, that is uh, i think uh, we can uh, ask regarding the jenkins jenkins doc Sir, I don't know. It is uh, just uh, can you confirm on your screen and just tell me if it is uh, embedded or uh, this is from this uh, extension which I have added. I'm not sure. You can just uh, check on your screen and please let me know in the comment box. Thank you.